hello everyone welcome back to tech cloud channel in today's video we are going to discuss about the icmp which is internet control message protocol so in this video we will try to cover up the users of icmp how does icmp works icmp packet formats types of icmp messages and icmp based attacks so now let's first discuss about the uses of icmp and its another important aspects icmp is a network layer protocol used by network devices to diagnose network communication issues it is mainly used to determine whether or not data is reaching its de intended destination in a timely manner commonly the icmp protocol is used on network devices such as router pcs switches and since icmp is a crucial for error reporting and testing but it can also be used in dos attacks also dos and ddos attacks icmp has no ports and is either tcp nor this udp but it has types and codes icmp is better knowing as ping another important use of icmp protocol is used to perform network diagnosis by making use of trace route and ping utility so trace route basically used to know the route between two devices connected over the internet where ping is known as the echo request message as it is used to measure the time taken by data to reach the destination and return to the source so these replies are also known as echo replies messages if you would like to know more about the ping and trace route we have already uploaded the video you can visit the channel page and we will also put the video link in the description moving on so now let's understand how icmp work first icmp is the primary and important protocol of the ip soup but icmp is not associated with any transport layer protocol which is tcp or udp that's why it does not need to establish a connection with the destination devices before sending any message it is a connectionless protocol the working of icmp is just being associated with tcp as tcp is a connection oriented protocol whereas icmp is a connectionless protocol so whenever a connection is established before the message sending both devices must be ready through a tcp handshake and to know more about tcp handshake we have already uploaded video and we will share the link in description or you can also visit the channel page moving on so these icmp packets are transmitted in the form of datagram that contain an ip header with icmp data so icmp datagram is similar to a packet which is an independent data entity in the header and this is how icmp being used between the source and destination devices now let's moving on and look into the icmp packet format also in icmp packet first 32 bit contains three major fields which is type code and checksum first this type the initial 8 bit of the packet is for message type it provide a brief description of the message so that receiving network would know that kind of message it is receiving and how it respond to it here are some common messages types like type 0 which is echo reply type 3 which is destination unreachable type 3 means re redirect message type 8 means echo request type 11 means time exceeded and type 12 means parameter problem then we have another field which is code this is also 8 bit code is the another 8 bit in the, in the icmp packet format and this field carries some additional information about the error message and type then we have checksum so checksum the last 16 bit are for the this field and in icmp packet header the checksum is used to check the number of bits of the complete message and enable the icmp tool to ensure that complete data is delivered then we have these two extended header and data or payload so extended header is also 32 bit of the icmp header and which has the network of pointing out the problem in ip messages 
then the data or payload so this last part of the icmp packet is a variable length having a variable length and the byte include in ipv4 ip protocol version 4 it has 576 bytes and in ipv6 it has 1280 bytes so moving on now this is a YSR capture of ICMP log and you can see on the screen it has ICMP type code checksum above you can see the length the request and reply message type then protocol so this is how we can identify an ICMP log in the wire structure moving on so let's look into some the type of ICMP messages First, we have zero echo reply that the code is still zero and thus this says it is a echo reply. Then we have the destination unreachables. When we are receiving destination unreachable and the code is zero, this means destination network is unreachable. When the code is one, this means destination host is unreachable. When code is two, means destination protocol is unreachable. When the code is 3 that means destination port is unreachable and when the code is 4 means fragmentation is needed and the df flag is set if the code is 5 then it says source route failed so this is how we can identify based on the code of the messages then we have the redirect message so if the redirect message is set as 0 means it redirect the datagram for the network and when the redirect message set as 1 means it redirect datagram for the host. Then we have the echo request. No, sorry. This is still from. So when the redirect message set as code 2 means redirect the datagram for the type of service and network. When the redirect message set as 3 that means redirect datagram for the service and host also then we get the echo request that is the code 0 and it will be for the echo request then we have the route advertisement for which we will get also code 0 and that used to discover the address of operational routers then we have the time exceed so when time exceed set as 0 that means the ttl exceeded in transit then time exceed is set as one that means fragment assembly time exceeded also later we have the parameter problem so this if the code set is zero that means the pointer indicate an error if the code set is one then it means missing required option if the code is two that means it has the bad length then we have the time stamp which is the code is zero and it is used to synchronization time synchronization and then we have the timestamp reply which is the code is zero and it is also for to reply to the timestamp messages so this is all about the icmp messages here let's little bit look into about the icmp ddos attacks so in ddos attack attackers provide so much extra traffic to the target so that it cannot provide service to the user Basically, it keeps the server busy so that it cannot work or it cannot respond to the legitimate traffic. There are many ways through which an attacker executes these attacks and uh, some of them like the ping of death attacks. Means the attacker overflows the buffer of the target machine that frees the machine to process any traffic or session. Then we have ICMP flood attack. In this attack, attackers send a ping flood to the target machine which the machine is unable to handle that cause to hang or stop the machine working from it then we have the smurf or spoof attack so this is a type of attack in which the attacker sends an icmp packet with a spoofed source ip address these type of attacks generally work as a older device like the ping of death attack this is all about icmp protocol and i hope this video is helpful for you Please do like, share, subscribe and comment your suggestion and keep supporting. Thank you for watching.